Bottom line is, I'm doing this because I love it. I want to be a journalist because I think it's going to make me really happy in the long term. I have reservations about uh, the amount of hours they're expecting um, for the amount they're not willing to pay. They're not going to pay me, of course, and that they're going to ask for 20 hours of my time. The fact that I am obviously completing university studies at the same time and also I have my own uh, part-time job on the side, it would be quite a time commitment and I mean if it did spend towards the four days I'd be a little bit reluctant. They can't pay everyone and they can't offer such short-term positions probably paid all the time because it's just not feasible. I know I do free work for other organisations and I never get upset about it because I know I'm working for a reel or I'm working for a resume. I would say it is exploitative. Um, I think you should be paying at least a minimum wage um, to an intern who's going to be there over, over one day. So I mean, if I could commit to the time commitment, I would do that because, and obviously being Vice as well, it's a recognised um, news source as well. So obviously they've got a lot of credibility. My peers, uh, from what I've seen in the past, would probably be likely to go for something like this, um, not knowing their rights. At the end of the day, I'm a student and I'm actually starting to struggle a little bit. Looking for the next superstar intern. <laughs> So it's, it's a content writer, um, unpaid internship. Um, it's fairly vague. In comparison, I feel that the Vice one was a little less broad and sort of gave a little bit more details as to what it would actually involve. Yeah, look, I would uh, apply. It sounds pretty flexible with uh, how much you're working and you can work from home. Yeah, definitely. Just from reading it, it's obviously you'd be getting trained in quite a few different areas and it, obviously it's looking like it presents a lot of opportunities. I would probably recommend this to students who were part of JMAC uh, as long as they um, made an agreement with the employer um, about what they were getting out of it and that that was signed and everyone was aware. And you can still uh, take part in you know, everything else that you do um, with you know, your part-time work or your uni studies, that kind of thing. Um, I think one day a week unpaid is probably my limit. Uh, three months is a long time. Um, I would want to be ensuring that I'd be getting um, written endorsement after the completion of the internship and that I would have published works with my name credited um, up on their site. This is, I'm being told that doing internships like this are what I have to do. Uh, like that's what all my lecturers who I respect and admire and they, they are where I want to be. That's what they're saying and that's what everyone who's got a job is saying. That's what Zoe Foster's saying. So I've got to listen to them or I'm an idiot and I'll be saying, oh, I should have listened to them when I'm 35 and like, working in a job I hate. So even though it's draining, I kind of love it and I don't want to stop doing it.